Hey everyone, a couple things to fill you in on. First of all, thanks to Tom Osborne for teaching the first half of Colossians 1. And since I wasn't there to say it, happy Mother's Day to all you mothers that are out there. Hey, and join us this Sunday as we look at Colossians 1, now 15 through 18 of the verses, which I would venture to say is by far one of the most powerful four verses in all the Bible. And it's, it's explaining about who Jesus is, so don't miss that. Secondly, thanks to all of you who voted on the elder affirmation voting. I suspected it was an overwhelming affirmation to the slate of elders. And so this Sunday at the end of our service, we'll have a short installation of these group of men that were chosen by you to oversee the affairs and shepherding of the ECF for this next season. Thirdly, let me tell you why Jill and Audrey are sitting here beside me, staring at, staring at me while I talk. Well, as you know, they will be getting married in three short weeks, right? That's right, three short weeks, and probably like 58, 358 hours or something like that. 580. Uh, 580. But that's not all. With marriage often comes transitions, and due to many factors, including the desire to have an exciting start to their new life together, they've made a very difficult decision, and difficult for us too, to move to Vancouver, Washington at least for the next year or so, to take advantage of some less expensive lodging, which we all know is needed around here, as well as uh, pursue some job opportunities and follow up on some of those that they've got down there. They also want to be a little closer to family. So it's all coming about pretty suddenly, and I assure you, though, that they've thought about it, they've prayed about it, they've sought counsel from others, and we want to let you know about it here first. You all know that Joel has been one of our worship leaders for the past couple years, has done a great job, and Audrey has been our admin assistant alongside Nicole, and filling in, a, they've filled in a lot of holes over the last couple of years. And we're already working on how we're gonna kind of get some of those holes filled in. But just know that God's always had a plan for these last seven year, 17 years. For now, however, we wanna celebrate this journey with them and send them off with God's speed and blessing, knowing that it's not gonna be the last time we see them by any means. Now, Joel, tell, what do you kind of think about all this? Tell us, talk, talk to us. Well, that's definitely right. This, uh, this was a tough decision for us and we will certainly be back to visit. We're deeply grateful for the relationships that we've made here. ECF has really felt like home for these past few years. I love this church, and I'm so thankful for the way that you all made me feel welcome from the moment that I came here to fill in for worship uh, two summers ago. I thank you, and I encourage you to continue to be welcoming and engaging in relationships um, the way that you are, especially with young college kids that are still figuring it out like, like me, like I was when I came here. So we're so thankful for you guys. Yeah, I just also wanted to say how much you cherish this community, um, and you guys have made this decision tough, and we just wanted to say we love you. Um, it definitely is a goodbye forever, and we're so thankful for all the opportunities that you've given us, um, and we'll see you soon. So with that being said, I hope you have a great rest of the week. You get to kind of take some of this in. Uh, believe me, we're going to miss these two, but we're excited about what God's going to do for them. And we're really excited about your wedding that's coming up. Not nearly as excited as you are, but we're excited <laughs> about that. So God bless your week. Continue to be God's people out there. And you're a great church, and I know He's got a lot in store for us for many years to come. God bless you.